What's up down there? Oh, mama, it's right there. King Carlos here, bro. Making another back with y'all with back at y'all with another video. What are you looking at? Oh, the old lady. Just chilling, bro. Outside. It feels good out on. That's Texas. Yeah, man. Just wanted to tap in, bro. Speak on some real shit, my nigga. Um, the young boy situation, which we all just seen go down, and how. Listen, bro. Just because he's free, that don't. That, just because he bonded out, that don't mean nothing. If this gun becomes a case, they can still fuck him up. That don't mean nothing. Y'all remember YWM Ellie came out, and now he's in there fucking forever. But when he got out, remember when he bonded out though? Niggas was all oh, bro, Melly out, bro, Melly free. Nigga ended up getting charged for murder. Same time we call that. That don't mean anything, bro. <clears throat> They've been trying to fuck up young. For, they've been trying to fuck over young boy for a long time. For a long time, especially out there, bro. If you follow, if you follow him, I don't know if that was him. I think it was um. I think it might have been. Uh, not being, bro. It wasn't being. It was. I can't even think of this mother. I can't even think of this nigga name, bro. This, what the fuck? That's crazy. I cannot think of old dude name, bro. Um, I, it's who? Who's the light skinned nigga, bro? That's that's not Montana. Three. It was OG three three. I think it was OG three. He had came out and said, bro, you know, pretty much how um, the Baton Rouge Police Department been trying to build a case on them since they came out, bro, since 4K, 4K Trey came out. You know what I'm saying? They had the name back then. So the Rico case, because I really think they're going to try to take it to a Rico case. So the Rico case, they got, they got legitimate grounds right there. You know what I'm saying? They got legitimate, they got legitimate grounds right there to charge them just off Rico, bro, just with the name. Alone in the guns and the guns in the video and all shit. These are real guns, bro. There's nothing to say these niggas are a criminal organization. They were loading up to go kill somebody. That can get them 50 years in prison easily, bro. My nigga, easily. I'm talking about easy, bro. Hey, calm down. But, um, easily, bro. So, come here. But uh, just off that, bro, with the guns, like I just said, they said they're going to kill somebody. Um, I'm sure they've been doing phone taps on these niggas back and forth because they said he'd been in Baton Rouge for like three days. I think this was the third. Today was the third day. Today was the third day. Yes, you know, yesterday was the third. They got out today, stupid ass. Yesterday was the third day he was out in Baton Rouge, bro. That was the third day, and they got his ass. So I know they got phone taps and phone records and shit like that for them three days. You know what I'm saying? But, um... Come here. But, um... My fault, like a lot of annoying-ass people over here. Damn, I lost my train of thought. Yeah, forgive me. That got, I know they got phone tapped and shit on them. This is my thing, bro. I understand that that's his home. I don't. I don't think it's done wrong with young boy going back to North Baton Rouge because I would. If I got bit, I'm stupid, John. Quit moving. Cause I would, I would, if I got a lot of money, I wouldn't want nobody to tell me I can't go back to my home. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, I, I don't think there's nothing wrong with him going back to Baton Rouge, but you got, you need to understand what you're going for. And when you, if you're going for a video, you need to try to make it a private location, bro. It's, it's to the point now. See, back in 2016, 2017, young boy was big then, bro. But I understood, I, I would understand the, the being in the, you know, the ratchets, being in North Baton Rouge, BR. You know what I'm saying? Constantly being out there, constantly antagonizing folks because you're still so close to the streets, you can't help but do that. You know what I'm saying? When you first come out, especially being a nigga like the way he is, and real emotional and shit like that, and 
He held his feelings on his shoulders. I ain't saying the nigga ain't a, a killer or no shit like that, or a gangster, anything that he claims to be. I'm just saying he's all those things and also he's an emotional man. That's the big reason for these outbursts he has and shit like that, man. These, these, these suicidal rants he goes on and shit like that, bro. Life is hard for everybody. I'm not saying, I'm not trying to um, make fun of him or say that people don't try to commit suicide all the time, men and women. I'm just saying, bro, for a man, a, a, a young man, to have all that, all that money, all these these OGs around you, these niggas is old, bro. I, I don't think that OG33 and um, Montana are 20 something. I think these niggas are like 30. You know what I'm saying? All these older niggas around you and shit, bro. Ain't nobody trying to tell you to straighten up right. Well, I get, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody got, ain't nobody guiding you. Oh, this was old. And ain't nobody guiding you, bro. It don't make any sense, bro. Ain't nobody trying to tell this nigga the right direction. He still talk about he want to commit suicide and all this stuff, bro. But you steady talking about murdering people like no one has told you. Come here. No one has told you about the cycle yet, bro. If you, you know what I'm saying, you kill somebody more than likely. Cause I'm not, not you gonna get killed, cause you wouldn't feel that. Somebody you love, somebody you care about will get killed, cause you'll understand that better. Cause the person that gets killed is innocent, just like the person you killing. They just, they feel guilty to you, you know what I'm saying? So, being that old, my nigga, come on, bro. I don't, I don't get it. I honestly don't, dude. Young boy needs to stay the fuck out of trouble. He gonna end up getting kodak or worse, YW and Melly, bro. Or Bobby Schmurder. And um, and do I, I believe, I believe young boy Mike, his, his hype could survive, man. Young boy didn't, didn't damn near create another generation. But your family gonna suffer, man. Your family, your people gonna suffer. The other side is gonna come up, all these people who have beef and animosity against you. Who says it's over when you locked up? They might start taking out your people, bro. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't gotta, I ain't telling motherfucker, I ain't, I'm just giving my opinion on the guys. You know, I'm, I don't really can, I consider myself like a, a personality, more of like a hip hop personality than like a blogger or something like, than a blogger and you know, stuff like that, bro. I don't do no interviews. I want to eventually do interviews. That's when I'm, well, I don't, yeah, I'm going to get into my other camera before I do it. And also I'm going to try to start being more social. I'm not a social guys. I'm not a real social person. So that's another thing that would kind of fuck me up doing interviews. I have, I have some, uh, some social awkwardness and stuff like that that I have to get over before I put myself on camera in front of somebody else, guys. So uh, that's the video. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to make another one right, like, right back. I just picked this up, bro. So tell me what y'all think.